Anxiety on the streets as Liberians await the decision of the Supreme Court. In a country where the political class is viewed with suspicion by many. At stake is whether the conduct of the October 10th presidential election was fair to all candidates. I'm worried because we were expecting a better election and then we are hearing that the election has been postponed. So I'm really worried because everybody was like, let this election just reach and then so we can go on with our normal thing. The hearing opened amid tight security with judges promising speedy proceedings. Experts are quick to dismiss the possibility of a constitutional crisis in Liberia. I don't see constitutional crisis and the reason is simple. Um, the petition before the Supreme Court of Liberia is not a petition to determine a run or a rerun. It's not. It is also not a petition to determine whether there can be an interim arrangement. No. But that is what many believe some politicians are up to raising the level of fear and suspicion. Whatever happens here on Monday, many Liberians don't expect to be called out to vote the next day. Their worry is what impact any further delays will have on the forced transition from one democratic government to another in more than 70 years in Liberia. The Election Commission maintains the October election was credible, but admits the legal challenge of set back its preparations for the runoff between former football star George Weir and the incumbent Vice President Joseph Borkai. We were already distributing our materials, both sensitive and non-sensitive, including ballot papers. Uh, at least up to 60-70% of the country. Uh, so a day cannot have us doing all that. Besides, uh, we were about to uh, train our uh, pool workers. Uh, so those things can happen in a day's time. The commission says conducting the election immediately after the court ruling will depend on the level of preparation of other partners like the security services and international support. Observers within and outside Liberia are watching closely to see how the judgment on Monday will affect not only the vote, but the envisaged smooth democratic transition in January. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Monrovia.